happy 4th of July, everybody. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, it is good morning to you guys. How are you guys doing today? This is actually 4th of July that I'm filming this video. I am doing wonderful. I got up so early this morning. My body just told me, hey, wake up and get up. So I obeyed it. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't feel like laying in the bed that long. I was gonna sleep in, but I decided, nah, just go ahead and get up. But today is America's birthday, and when you guys see this video, it will be tomorrow and beyond. So anyway, I'm just sitting here in my tag room, which I call the tag room, my office. And I'm just I'm coming on, as you guys can see from the title, I'm just gonna, just do a quick little chit chat with you guys and give you an update on my weight loss journey. This is not the 90 days until summer uh, challenge. This That challenge was canceled by the host. So since it's canceled, and this is the last month, I decided, well, am I gonna share my, you know, my journey, my update with you guys anyway? And first I was like, nah, I guess I won't. And then I said, no, why not? I did tell you guys I was going to do it um, anyway. So I guess I decided to just go ahead and do it. And she told me, she said, I'll be looking for your video if you decide to do it. So I said to myself, well, let me go ahead and do it. You know, it's no big deal. It's my own title. So, um, yeah, but I'm drinking some coffee this morning in my favorite mug, one of my favorite mugs, that says, Hello Gorgeous. Isn't that cute? So let me take a sip or two. Mm. Gosh, this coffee is so good. Mm. The first thing I drank this morning was not coffee. I had a bottle of water. And I added a, a couple of capfuls of that Bragg's organic, um, nasty, uh, what is that stuff called? Apple cider vinegar. Mm. Do any of you drink that? You put it in your water? That is horrible. Ooh. Oh man, it's like when you drink it, you can't drink it and just, you know how you drink water straight down? No face. But when you start drinking that apple cider vinegar, mm, I'm like, Lord, help me. Let me hurry and drink this stuff down <laughs> and then get, you know, follow it down with another uh, fresh water. So, okay, yesterday I went to the doctor for my follow up and to get weighed in. And um, I waited for a while. And then when they called me back, she told me, okay, you can get on the scale now. And I thought, dun da da da. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, she did what she had to do, you know, taking that little thing, whatever that thing is called, that measures your um, your weight. And she told me what the number was, and I'm not comfortable sharing, you know, what I weigh right now with you guys. So forgive me for that. You know, my son says you should, and I'm like, no, I am not comfortable because he wants to know how much I weigh. I said, you know what? When I get past this uh, number of where I'm at, I will share with you guys like what today's weight is, you know, what I was weighing through different times. And I told my son, yeah, I'll share with you, but not right now. I'm just too embarrassed. And it's not like I weigh extremely a whole lot. And it's not that, it's just that I have to be comfortable, so. Anyway, I uh, got on the scale and um, she said I lost seven pounds. Woo! Seven pounds, you know. I clap for seven pounds because, hey, I lost something. But let me tell you my reaction. Um, when she told me seven pounds and I said, that's all? She started laughing, and I'm like, what's so funny? You know, I guess it was the way I said it, or the way it came out. And I don't know, I guess in my mind, 
I just thought it was going to be more. I don't know why. I, I just assumed it would be more. I mean, all that hard work that I am doing, that I have been doing, I just for some reason thought it would be a little bit more. But you know what? I'm not going to let that get me down because I lost weight and I'm continuing to lose weight and I'm just happy and I'm embracing the seven pounds and just being happy. So I'm going to try to work a little harder, try to get a little bit better number next month. But you know, sometimes, and I think I know why I might have only lost seven pounds and it's not a big deal. I'm just saying it for the record. Uh, I might have lost more if I had not eaten a little bit extra of the um, pasta salad that I love. Mm. Told you guys I made pasta salad. I think I had one in a collaboration recently. So, you know, just want to have a little bit more, like another tablespoon or two. And it's so good, you know, but I can't afford to eat that a lot. But I knew what I was doing when I did it. So I said, okay, well, I won't be too, too surprised if the weight loss is not like where I want it to be, where in my mind thought it would be. So I knew what I was doing. I was under control, but hey, that's okay. You know, sometimes we want just a little bit more and it wasn't like it's such a bad food. It was a healthy pasta salad. So another good thing about how the weight loss is doing with me, my blood pressure, guys. My blood pressure uh, was a little on the lower side than it normally is, but they say that's still good anyway. It was 109, 109 now over 72. I was like, wow, that's, I said, isn't that too low? And the lady said, uh, no, it's not too low. You know, for some people it could be too low. I said, she says, how are you feeling? I said, I feel just fine. She says, okay, and then the doctor said that's fine. You know, it's not too low. So, you know, I've never in my life had blood pressure that low. 109 over 72. That is amazing. And you know, he told me that, well, what we can do is start decreasing your nighttime blood pressure medicine. So I was like, okay, well, tell me about it. What can we do? So he said, instead of taking a whole pill, just take half of one. So I said, okay. So that's good news, you guys. I mean, all it is is making up your mind to lose weight and being consistent with it. Um, yes, I've had and sometimes do have stress. Like, who does not have stress? You know, situations with my sister I told you guys about. But you know what? Even with all that, I'm not going to let that situation or any other situation cause me to start eating wrong again because I'm telling you, that has been the vicious cycle of my life in the past. I have always fallen back and allowed situations and people and circumstances to dictate to me how I'm going to eat, how I'm going to live. But see, I... I a few months ago, I stopped that. I put a stop to that. Mm -mm. It's time to... Let me fix my shirt. <laughs> it's time to take care of Liz. It's time to take charge of my life. And I'm telling you guys, I feel so different now of deciding to do this. I feel like I'm doing it. And I'm going to do it. And I'm going to complete the journey... I'm gonna to get to my target weight and I'm gonna keep that healthy weight for the rest of my life. You hear me? I am going to do it. I am extremely determined. Yes, tempta tempting foods come my way. They're always before me. I have to cook dinner for my family and certain holidays, you know, I have to just regulate what I'm going to eat. I mean, yeah, I'll fix the turkey, the dressing, mac and cheese, all that, oh God, all the stuff that I love. Mm -mm. I, Liz, will not be eating it. I'm not because I've made up my mind that I want to be healthy. I want to get healthy. I want these ailments to be gone. I just want things to get better inside my body. I really, truly do. And I, I, um, mm -mm. I don't like having high blood pressure. I didn't have it when I delivered my son. 
until I started gaining weight, just stuffing myself, eating and eating and eating, and then that's when all of a sudden it came. You've got to make up your mind. And if your mind is not truly made up, you will not do it. I thought my mind was truly made up a long time ago. I really did, but it's not. And it's something different about now of how I feel versus back then. It's pretty much what I said, making up your mind, you guys. what you have to do oh, excuse me I had to take a sip this coffee is so good it's so warm inside um I'm feeling wonderful like I said before nothing uh, last month I felt great I feel good this month um Energy wise, it's pretty much the same. My energy wise fluctuates because I do have certain um, health, con you know, conditions that affect my, you know, my um, my energy level. So that's what I'm dealing with. But other than that, as far as exercising and having enough energy to do what I need to do, I I pretty much do. You know, they said my thyroid is doing good. So, hey, thank God for that. But, yeah, I am happy. I'm, I'm happy the weight is coming off. And pretty soon I'll be sharing with you guys. You know, I'm not going to share, like, every month like I, I was. Because this was, that was part of the challenge, you know, with the host. So now that this is the last month, I'm not going to be sharing as often as I was. Um, if you guys want to see me do something periodically, then comment down below. Let me know because I don't want to bore you guys. You know, I'm not saying this is boring. This, Hopefully this is helping you guys, encouraging some of you, you know, and that's what I, that's why I'm sharing because I... I just feel good about sharing good news. I'm not bragging because I'm not a bragger. I don't have time for that mess. I just want to be an encouragement to some of you who are struggling. We all struggle. I still struggle sometimes, you guys. Let me tell you how and what I mean by that. Yes, sometimes my mind will tell me, you know you want a burrito. I love burritos. <laughs> I'm telling you, sometimes my husband, you know, he may be eating one, or my son is like, mmm, just smelling the aroma of it just smells so good. You know, my mind tells me, I wish I could have it. But you know what? I can have a burrito. I just have to make it with a 100% whole grain, whole wheat, whatever you call it, tortilla, and put all, nothing but beans, homemade beans because I don't want to do that um, mush stuff um, and just put lots and lots of vegetables in it things that are healthy and I can have a burrito you see what I'm saying but I won't have any cheese in it because I don't eat cheese and any of that um, anymore no cheese and not even cheese substitute I don't do meat substitute no I just take my supplements and eat my beans and my lentils and other stuff that I can, you know, that I can think of to put together. But I am feeling good. I'm, I'm happy. I have mental clear, clearness. Um, I exercise today. I was not going to let a holiday stop me from exercising. And the fact that my son, even though he's in um, summer school, and I don't have to get up as early, I'm not letting that stop me from exercising. I figure, okay, it's still summertime, but it's still exercise time. You still got to get up and take care of you first. If you don't take care of yourself, ladies, take care of you first. And then you will have the energy to take care of the rest of what you need to deal with. Taking care of your family, taking care of whatever situation that you have to deal with. So, I have talked long enough. I don't, I'm not going to get caught up, and I told you guys before that I'm not going to get caught up in 
a number that, oh, I hope I lose 20 pounds, I hope I lose 10 pounds. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I stopped that. I used to do that a long time ago. I used to say, oh, I hope I lose 25 pounds in the month. I hope I lose 30 pounds. And then when I didn't do it, I would be so depressed. And I was ready to throw that, uh, that scale in the trash. But no, I'm just focusing on uh, just losing. Whatever I lose that month is an uh, accomplishment. So I'm just going to embrace the accomplishment. I'm just going to be happy, flow with it. I'm not going to let it disappoint me. When I was disappointed yesterday, that was just minor. I was like, that's all? <laughs> it was funny though. I don't know why I, she just laughed though, but that's all, you know? But yeah, once I reach a certain milestone, I will come back and share with you guys um, that progress. If any of you wanna see a little bit more frequent or if you want me to show you some ideas of foods that you can prepare. Um, if you want to email me, if, just if you want some encouragement or motivation, anything. If there's anything that I can do personally to help any of you out there, just reach out. My email is always in my description box of every single video. Um, comment down below if you want to see something you know, a little more often or, you know, whatever the case may be, just feel free to let me know. Communicate with me. I'll communicate back with you. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's what I want to share with you guys. I hope you guys had, I'm going to say had, because when you see this video, it will be after the 4th. I hope you guys had an awesome 4th of July. I hope it was safe for you. Um, I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for supporting me through this weight loss journey. I really appreciate it. And also, I want to take the time to thank Heidi Sambo for inviting me to her challenge um, for the past two months, even though it's canceled. I just want to thank you, Heidi, for thinking of me. I really appreciate it. And um, I pray that you will have continued success on your weight loss journey that everything will work in your favor and that you will get healthy and be a healthier woman so thank you so much and if you guys are new to the channel welcome I love to have you thanks so much for tuning back in you guys all my old friends you guys know how I feel about you and I appreciate all your comments I appreciate all your support, all your encouragement. I really, really do. And I just want to give back to you. Get on that bandwagon if you've fallen off, because we do. We fall off sometimes, you guys. It's, that's life. Don't feel discouraged. If you've fallen off, get back up. Just get back up. And go for the mark. Press towards the mark. Okay? That means press towards the goal whatever your goal is. So you guys can do it. I can do it. I am doing it. You can do it. So with that being said, thank you guys. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.